It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a wig. Yeah, it's it. It's a wig. Hey guys, what is up? What's good? It's me, Ashley. <laughs> In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some new stuff from Wet n Wild. Ooh, ooh, knocking stuff down. They do have some new brushes. So I picked up brushes over on their website. They are these guys right here. I want to say I have more than these. They may be in hiding somewhere. I don't know. But I'm also gonna be talking about some new shadows. I will say the display was like these are newly packaged, newly formulated shadows. Um, one of the main ones being this one right here, which is the Comfort Zone Shadow Palette. Let me tell you, when I was first getting into makeup, I was like all for this palette. These are like the best shadows I have ever seen hands down in the drugstore literally not even kidding you guys need this I'm gonna be going over some of these they have a few different colors as you guys know I'm not gonna be able to wear every single color on my eye in this video that's just not realistic I only use this one which is the newly formulated comfort zone shadow palette um, but they also came out with some other colors that I will be swatching for you guys like this one right here they also have this one like what does this remind you of ABH modern renaissance Come on now, I see you. Wet and wild, I see what you're doing there. Um, they also came out with this really pretty kind of like neutral brown one. If you guys are interested in learning more about these wet and wild products, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel and click that little bell. So that way you can stay up to date with my videos. I upload two new videos every week, twice a week, and you guys don't wanna miss it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. You know what, at this point in time, we're not gonna talk about how unsightly my face is right now. This area, going through some things. I don't even know what's going on, but what I do know is that I put like some acne treatment on it and it totally like burnt my skin in some areas. And then, you know, I waxed my mustache before this video and I fucking burnt myself. So, you know what, I'm just preparing for a massive burn on my upper lip tomorrow. So I might as well get this video done so that way I don't have a burn by the time it's time to film the video, if that makes any sense at all. But anyways, I am gonna be going through some of the Wet n Wild products that I recently picked up. Are you ready? I don't think you are. I really don't. All right, you guys, so first and foremost, I'm gonna start off by priming my skin. I will be using this guy. I use this in one of my first Wet n Wild videos. This is their Photo Focus Face Primer. It's all right, it's nothing like too spectacular. I will say that it has like a huge opening, so a ton of product comes out, so definitely be careful. A little bit does go a very long way, and that's probably way too much, but we're just gonna roll with it. So I have some face primer, and I'm just going to apply it in the center of my skin and all over oh my god my skin is burning 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 oh my god my lip is burning it wasn't ready it really wasn't ready so what i do love about this primer is that it feels absolutely like silky smooth on the skin and it's really hydrating this area down here that i completely burnt with all of the acid and shit i've been putting on my skin Feels really, really nice to say the very least. This is the Photo Focus Foundation. I am going to be wearing the shade Golden Beige, which may be a little bit too dark. I don't know, I haven't used it in a while, but I do know that it's really, really, really great. It has like a little spatula, if you guys have never seen this. Um, where do I start, where do I start? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start off by just doing little strides on my skin, and I am gonna do one side at a time. I think, yeah, I'm gonna do one side at a time because I will be testing out a brush. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm gonna do because I am gonna be testing out a brush, their uh, foundation brush or whatever. So the foundation brush I'm gonna use is this one. This is the Precision Foundation Brush. It says you can use it to buff in liquid or cream foundation. So that's obviously exactly what I'm gonna do. I have my liquid foundation on and I'm just gonna start just patting it and buffing the foundation into the skin. Mm, this may not be my color, but we gonna roll with it. <laughs> This is really buffing the foundation into the skin really nicely. I'm not really having any streaking for that matter, which is a very big surprise. I often find it hard to apply foundation with a brush just because I am very, very, very accustomed to like a beauty blender, which gives me more of like an airbrush finish. You know what I mean? So I wanted to bring you guys pretty close to the brush. As you can see, it's super dense right here. When I take my finger and I spread it out, you can see that the foundation is really just on the tips of the bristles towards this area, which is a little bit more dense. But when you look at the front, it's not as dense as the other side. So the foundation does travel a little bit further down than the other side, which isn't a huge deal. It does appear that the foundation is going all the way down into the barrel, but when you spread it out a little bit with your finger, you will see that it just slightly grazes the top of the bristles, which is really, really, really great, which means the brush isn't soaking up all the product. So I do really like this to blend out foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this to my eyelids. This is gonna act as a really nice sticky base for my shadows to kind of lay on top of, so 
just gonna do one, two, three, six, eight, twelve, you know, stripes on my eyes. I'm just gonna buff it out with a Smashbox brush because I'm not really doing anything like too special. I'm just like priming my eyelids. You could literally do this with your finger. Now that my eyes are nice and primed, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This one is in the shade Dolce de Leche, and I'm gonna take that same brush, pick up this bone color shadow right here, and I'm gonna use it as a base shadow. I'm just gonna apply it directly over top of that concealer. We just put all over our eyelids now if you guys want tips on blending and stuff like that I do have a full video dedicated to that so I'll link it in the cards so that we guys can check it out if you think I'm going too fast I do have a full video dedicated to blending those shadows the first shade I'm gonna take in the palette is this one right here this is shade number one and I am gonna take it on a Sigma E40 blending brush so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna buff it into the crease and as you can see, since this brush is very, very fluffy, it's not really applying a ton of product all at once, which is exactly what I'm going for. I do want a really nice kind of like diffuse look, if you know what I mean, jelly bean. All right, you guys, so as you can see, that color is nicely buffed and blended all up in my crease. I'm now gonna go in with that tapered blending brush by Wet n Wild, which I am very, very excited about. This is a synthetic haired tapered blending brush, which I actually don't own, so this is pretty exciting for me. I'm now gonna go in with that same transition shade and I'm going to take a decent amount of this. As you can see, I picked up quite a bit on the brush and I'm gonna pack this into the crease, really just deepening things up. So I'm starting right here towards the outer portion and then I'm just going to bring it inwards. And then I like to just go back and forth from inner to outer corner when I do this step because I really want it to be crazy intense. The pigmentation on these shadow palettes are like insane. Literally insane. Probably the best eyeshadow palettes I have used from the drugstore to date. Literally to date. The next shadow I'm going to use is this one. This one is shade number 10. And I am going to take it with that same tapered blending brush. I'm just going to pick up some of that product. And I'm just going to dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. Dab that brush. Dab that brush. I'm literally just dabbing it right here towards the outer V. As you can see, I'm really not getting much fallout with these shadows, which is just nuts for me because normally I find cheaper eyeshadow palettes to have a lot of fallout. I'm switching brushes to this guy right here, which is the E36 brush by Sigma. You guys know this is like my favorite for a little bit more like detailed work. Now I do want to take this into my crease, like right up in this area, as you can see, but I want a little bit more of a smaller brush so that way I can have a little bit more control and precision. Taking a little bit of my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, I'm going to use it on a synthetic concealer brush. Now this is from my Elf Holiday video, Elf Holiday Collection video that I did a few weeks back. And I'm just going to take this concealer brush and I'm going to carve out a little bit of lid space now this isn't a full bone bone a full-blown cut crease um, I'm just kind of muting out some lid space so that way I can put the color there that I want why was I reading some comments on my vlog channel and somebody's like oh your boyfriend looks like Forrest Gump Jenny Jenny and I was like literally dying. I was like laughing my ass off. I thought it was like the funniest thing ever. He didn't think it was funny though. Like not one bit. Me on the other hand, I was dying. Um, so what I did is I just carved out a little bit of lid space and then I just took a fluffy brush and went alongside the edges so that way I didn't have harsh line or anything like that. I'm now gonna go in with this shade right here, which is shade number eight. It's this really pretty blue color and I've been dying to use it since I seen it in the palette. I'm gonna use that same concealer brush that I use to kind of, you know, mute out my lid just cause it's synthetic and I think I'll get better color payoff with this brush and I'm just going to put it directly over top of the concealer we just laid down. Now I'm not using any Fix Plus or anything, just cause I do want to see like the intensity of the shadow on its own. Mm, it's pretty. It's not as vibrant as I thought it was gonna be though. Maybe I do need Fix Plus. Maybe I do. Oh snap, I'm getting fallout. Things are getting crazy. Ooh, that's really pretty. Okay, yeah, I definitely need some Fix Plus because I'm, you know, I'm getting fallout and since my foundation is done, that is not good. Okay, yeah, Fix Plus definitely works, works wonders. It's definitely allowing me to apply the shadow in a super precise way. It's creating slip and making it look really pretty and foiled. Not gonna lie, this look definitely got intense really, really, really fast. Um, but I'm gonna go right back into that burgundy color 
and I'm just going to blend it into that blue so that way it doesn't look too weird. Look how pretty that is though. This is really different for me, but I think it is stunning. I think it's gorgeous. And then I'm just gonna take my finger with a little bit of that blue and then I'm just going to pat it in between the colors so that way it's more of a really pretty grading effect. This is pretty though. I'm here for it. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of shade number five on my E36 kind of like fluffy blending pencil brush from Sigma. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna apply it closest to my lash line to kind of mimic liner. It's just gonna give it a little bit of definition. And I am just going to buff this closest to my lash line. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that kind of like deep chocolatey maroon brown to my lower lash line so shade number 10 in the comfort zone palette and i'm going to use my flat definer brush to really just buff this closest to my lash line well, while it does have a dome pencil brush what i'm actually going to use this for is i'm actually going to use it to buff and blow out my lower lash line you could also use this brush to apply an inner corner highlight or you can use it on the outer corner of the eyes but for today's look, like I said, I am going to use it to buff and really just blow out the very lower lash line because I do want it to be very sultry and smoky. I'm going to dab my brush between these two colors right here. So this light brown and also this brown right here. And I'm just going to go back and forth on the lower lash line. And I'm going to do this until I get to my desired intensity. I do notice that this brush isn't very flexible at all. It is a very stiff dome brush. I am used to using something that's a little bit more flexible, um, but this one's just very, very stiff. So I think it's gonna be ideal for just packing color like in this area right here or even right here in the inner corner. So it's not really ideal for what I'm using it for, but I'll make it work. So I'm just adding a little bit more of that deeper color right here towards the outer V to really just bring everything together, sorta. So for the eyes, this is what I'm working with. I'm now gonna go in with some mascara. I'm gonna use the Lash Renegade Mascara by Wet n Wild. What I really love about this mascara is that it does kind of have like a ball at the end. So it's really gonna grab on to those little lashes in the very inner corner. So I don't know what's been happening with me lately, but my liner has literally been taking me like 30 minutes to do in every video. Like I just can't seem to get my stroke right. <laughs> get my stroke right. I just, I really can't. Like it's been taking me forever. So for the sake of timing, I'm not gonna apply liner, but you guys can definitely apply liner with this look. I think it will look insanely stunning. I am gonna take the Skinny Tip Eyeliner by Wet n Wild and I'm gonna create little dots on my very lower lash line. This is gonna create the illusion of thicker, fuller lashes. Now you can do dots, you can do lines, you can do whatever it is that you want, but this is gonna create the illusion of like a false bottom lash. And I'm just alternating between lines and dots. Um, now I'm just gonna apply the same mascara to my very lower lash line. And with this mascara, it's gonna be so easy for me to coat my bottom lashes, especially with a little ball at the end. So as you can see, my lower lashes look extremely long and full. So I definitely need to balance them out. And to balance them out today, I will be using these Lily lashes right here. These are in the style Mykonos, Mykonos something like that and I really really like them because they're extremely full in the middle of the lash so it's not one of those lashes that kind of flare out towards the end even though a lash like that would look insanely beautiful with this look but if you look really closely at the lash it's just extremely full and they are so insanely fluffy so my lashes they're on moving on to the rest of the face I do need to set down all of my liquids so I am going to go in with a large powder brush this is the new wet n wild large powder brush it says you can use this to apply loose powder or pressed powder I will be using a pressed powder and fun fact i don't know what happened to my wet and wild pressed powder so i am just going to use this one for maybelline you guys know it's my tried and true fit me powder in the shade 230 natural buff and i'm just going to swirl my brush into the powder pat this all over to just set everything in place and let me tell you your girl is not used to having long hair at all so now that my entire face is set, I'm gonna go in and set my under eyes. I know big shocker, I have not set my under eyes yet. What is life? And I actually see like the mascara like dotting 
<laughs> underneath my eyes because I haven't set it yet. But I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild um, setting brush. This is what it looks like. It is perfect for like right underneath the eyes right here. So I am gonna go in with this guy. This is the contour and highlighting palette in the shade Dolce de Leche. And I am gonna take the lightest shade and I'm gonna use this as a setting powder directly underneath my eyes. Not only is this gonna set my concealer in place, but it's also going to brighten and highlight and just make me look wide awake. Wet n Wild also has a blush brush. What I'm actually going to do with this is I'm actually going to use it to bronze up the cheeks. So I'm going to use that same contouring palette in Dolce de Leche and I'm going to pick up the bronzing shade. As you can see, it picks up quite a bit of product. So I am going to tap off just so that way I don't get too much all at once. And then I'm just going to go in big circular motions to add some warmth to the cheeks. This is so pretty. The bronzer isn't getting patchy or anything like that. It's going on really, really smooth and nice. So the last brush I have from Wet n Wild is a tapered highlighting brush, which looks just like this. And I'm so excited to use this guy. Now it does feel a little bit narrow, but I'm wondering if the more I use it, the fluffier it'll get and the better it will get. Sometimes I notice some brushes need a little bit of a wash before you can get like the full potential out of it. You know what I mean? This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Palette and I'm so excited to use it. Now they do have several different colors in this palette. So I am gonna pick up a little bit of Sweet Peony and I'm gonna tap off. There was a little bit that came off the brush and I'm just going to apply it right here. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna apply just a little bit more. Oh my God. Can I put some right here? <laughs> I can't. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. So I am going to pick up a little bit of the shade called Wild Cosmos with my domed pencil brush by Wet n Wild. I'm going to tap off a little bit and I'm going to give it a little bit of a spray with some Fix Plus. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to pop it in the very inner corner to draw forth light. I am feeling like I need to add just a little bit, just a little bit of blush. So I'm going to take this one. This one is in the shade Mellow Wine and I am going to take it on that blush brush. It has a little bit of bronzer on it, but honestly, I don't think it's going to do much. And I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks and really just buff it into that highlight. For lipstick, ooh, for lipstick, I'm just gonna use this by MAC. This is Yash with the SH. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of my Dior gloss to the very center. This one is in the shade Spring Ball. And you guys, this is a look. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the brushes? I almost dropped them like, um, what do you guys think of these brushes? Honestly, I think they're A1. I think they are absolutely amazing. They're super duper soft. Um, I think Wet n Wild did an amazing job when they came out with these brushes. It's almost insane. I love every single one. I don't have anything negative to say about any of them. I definitely feel like you guys should take advantage. Check these out over on the website because you will not be disappointed. I also really, really love this guy, which is the highlighting palette with four different highlights in it let me tell you it is hitting right now like do you see how it reflects off the light like I can't even get high-end highlighters to look like this like this blinding it's sick it's insane I think Wet n Wild did an amazing job on their highlighters in general I do wish that the packaging had a mirror on it but I feel like that would up the price it doesn't really take away from how good the product actually is though I absolutely love their shadows now I don't even know why they reformulated their shadows because I thought they were really really good to begin with but what they did, like, dude, they literally hit it out of the freaking park. Out of the park. Like, I'm so shook by the Comfort Zone Shadow Palette. Like, did you guys see how it blended on my eyes, the pigmentation, all that stuff? Like, this looks like a high-end eyeshadow palette. Like, no lie, Wet n Wild does have the best shadows in the drugstore, hands down. Hands down down so if you guys are going to pick up any of these items i definitely definitely recommend um this one definitely reminds me of the abh modern renaissance right here so if you've been wanting to get your hands on that palette definitely check this out because it does have very similar shades in the palette the pigmentation is also really really good definitely recommend that you guys go check them out and with that guys i don't think i have anything else to say except i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching this video and you guys know until next time i'll be sure to catch you guys all in the next one Deuces.